So I'm, I'm Cassius Fleming. Um, I am in sports media. I'm a director of sports now at Audible. So just started actually. So brand new. So you, you, congrats. You, it's man. a long. It's gonna be a long journey. It's a long journey so far. We got a lot further to go. You know. Well, all right, bet, bet, man. So now you you in tech. You in the tech sector, yep. right? Yep, yep. So Spotify, man. How how did you? Because I'm watching. I'm watching you from far. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it was. It's not like I was. I was hitting you up crazy, but I'm still looking at your career from the outside mm-hmm. in, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, dang, this dude is in Spotify now. Tell us, man, how how did you get how did that how'd you land that? So I actually just applied on LinkedIn, which we'll talk about that. Yeah, let's point. get on. Yeah, we'll get to that. I applied on LinkedIn. The recruiter hit me up like a month later, a month and a half later. Yeah. Had a preliminary interview with the person. So the crazy part is that HR person left the company after my interview. So that sucks. I'm not hearing anything back. And yeah. I'm trying to be patient, but I'm also not a very patient person. Right. So I'm emailing like, hey, just want to follow up. Just want to follow up. No, I did nothing. So again, I talked about networking with people. Right. So one of my, um, now one of my supervisors from ESPN, I hit her up. Like, hey, I just applied for this position at Spotify. She said, oh, I know somebody who works in music over there. I'll forward your resume. Luckily, that person forwarded it again. And then a new HR recruiter came back around on LinkedIn and then contacted me and was like, hey, we want you to apply for this position. I'm going to set you up for the interview. And that's how I got in. Yeah. Um, the interview was one, two, three. I had an interview with like five people, probably. Damn. So that was that. But that's how the tech sector is. You have to have multiple rounds with people. Right. And so I did those rounds and I got the job. Um, at first, I didn't get the original position. Yeah. But my boss liked me so much. She was like, I'm going to give you this associate producer position. It was a producer position, but she gave me the AP spot. Yeah. I want you. She was like, I want you. I think you, you need to be here. So I always thank her for that. Yeah. Because she didn't have to do that. She could have gave it to the other person and that was it. But she brought both of us in, made me an AP, mm. made the other person a producer. And we were like, East Coast and West Coast. That's nice. how it worked. Okay. So before we get into Spotify, mm-hmm. LinkedIn, right? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Crazy because... <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the social media. I mm. see it. Mm. And I'm on LinkedIn. Mm. But to be honest with you, I thought it was a joke. At least at that time. A lot of people do. Shit, I still might think it's a joke. Mm. You still trying mm. to convince me LinkedIn's a thing? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's the 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 simple interface of it. Mm. It's kind of wordy. You know, it's a lot of words of and stuff like that. Of course. But how'd you know, like, did you how'd you know to use LinkedIn at the time? I've always had it. Yeah. And you don't check it. Sometimes you check it every month and right. you got messages from people or friend requests from people and you don't really understand what's going on. So one of my friends, she I spoke to her recently. She told me she tells kids coming up to monetize your scroll. Hmm. So when you think about it, I'm on Instagram all day. All day. I'm scrolling. I'm seeing friend stories. Yep. I'm DMing people. Yep. I'm looking at content. Listen, the ratchet stuff. And the ratchet stuff is cool sometimes. Right. But I'm not trying to do that all day long. But that's what I was doing. Right. And if I could do that, LinkedIn has, you know, CEOs on there. It has HR recruiters on there. Yeah. It's got people in my field that I could reach out to. You never know what could happen. So a lot of times you could get discouraged because I've emailed people and never got a response back. Or right. DM'd them on, on right. LinkedIn. But there are some people that will answer. And so I started to say, you know what? There's an opportunity here. There's people looking for work every day. They're posting jobs every day. They're HR recruiters all day long on LinkedIn saying, we're looking for this role, this internship. So why would you not be on there? Right. If I could give two, three hours scrolling Instagram, I can't give two, three hours, or even an hour on LinkedIn right. that might get me a job. Or uh, if, you, if you're an entrepreneur, it might get you a new gig or something. It's all of that is on there. So I went in and I fixed my profile. I put a better photo up there. Yep. Changed my banner. I put my experience, my story, who I am. Yep. And I just started getting a bunch of whoa. Well, I went to somebody who helped me. Do yeah, I was that. gonna say. So like, did you know to do that? Like, how was your resume before that? See, I just had my job experience and that was it. Right. I didn't really have much. So I went to somebody who works in recruitment and she had, um, you know, a business where she would help you maximize your profile. Right. And she gave me so many details, banner. You know, what you put in the banner, your, te- your headline matters, the yeah. title of the position matters, yep. your location matters. Then, you know, your job experience. It's not enough just to say I worked at ESPN, CBS, Spotify. Well, what did you do? 
What were your accomplishments? Yep. Did you contribute to growth while you were there? You got to add all of these things. And so once I did that, I saw an increase in my profile right away. I'm getting big companies are hitting me up. Hey, Cassius, saw your profile. We have this position. We think you'd be great. Let me know when you could talk. Yeah. So I was just taking conversations just to do it, just to build my confidence back up. Because mm. looking for a job is not easy. Sure isn't. You can be stuck yeah. for a long time. But on LinkedIn, you just keep working, looking at statuses, commenting, e- cold emailing people and messaging people, and you might get what you want to get. So monetize that scrolls, I, t- I try to tell people. So I'm on LinkedIn. It's, it's, it may be stiff to some people, yeah. but there's influences on there. Yeah, there's, nah, yeah for, there's for a lot sure. of people on for there. Sure. For so sure. it, it ain't as stiff as you think. But I get it. It's not photos. It's not, you know, gossip and everything. But it, it works for me. So I try to tell people, don't sleep on LinkedIn. Yeah, like I said. It's business on there. It's, like I, it's, it's moves on there. Yo, all right. I'm going to take, I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going <laughs> to hold you to that. Like I said, I told you. I see, I see Ashley Fox on there. I follow her. Mm-hmm. She she gives good stock advice. She swears by it. And then you you swear by it. Of course. So of course. 100%, of course. I check it out. Of course. So you get to Spotify. Mm-hmm. I mean... Spotify is a fairly new company. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So um, what was your role there? Because, you know, before, before we even get to that, mm-hmm. you in the tech field, right? Mm-hmm. Do, is there a lot of people that look like you in the tech field? At Spotify, we had a big black community there. But I think the tech field in general, there yeah. needs to be more diversity, of course. I think, I think in general, there needs to be more diversity in, in business. Right. But... To get into the, the tech field, I didn't think I belonged at first. Mm. See, the misconception people think if it's a tech company, you have to be an engineer or you have to know data or right. programming apps. But there's people in marketing, there's legal, there's content. I was in content. Okay. There's programming. There's so many different things. So getting in there, I'm thinking, well, am I smart enough to be at Spotify? Like, this is a big company. Right. But, you know, I stopped looking at it that way. And because I'm the best, and I think somebody put it to me, like, you're the best at what you do, so that's why you're here. Mm. So I feel like I'm one of the best just in sports in, in terms of recognizing content, what I want to do in producing. So that's how it worked out for me. You right. know what I'm saying? All right, so you get to Spotify and mm-hmm. what, how was that experience like? Yeah, it was great. It changed my life. It changed my life. Life changing, working. man. It was life changing working at a tent company. It's different. Like the culture is different. You know, it's free food, <laughs> drinks, snacks. Right. We had an arcade up in there. We had, it was about 10 floors. Damn. We had beers on Fridays, champagne. All right, that's the fun part of it, but you got to do work too. I'm like, hold but, on, hold on, man. Nope. This don't even sound like a job, man. What you but, but tech, here's why it's different, because it's not really a nine to five. Really what it is is I have meetings throughout the day. Yep. As long as I get those meetings done, I'm good. Right. Because I can remember one time I'm talking to my boss, when do you want me to come in in the mornings? She looked at me, she was like, you're an, you're an adult, right? I was like, yeah. She was like, you know what you have to do today, right? I was like, yeah. She's like, as long as you get it done, I don't care when you come in, for the most part. You see, they got it figured out, man. Right. They got it figured out in the, in the tech world. And man. this is right before the pandemic hit. So I obviously work from home. It's a lot easier now. It's right. permanent for a lot of people in, the, in tech companies. So if my first meeting's at 10, I'm coming in at 930. If my first meeting's at 11, I might roll in at 1030 or 10, depending on what I want to do. But as long as you get your work done, that's what's important. Now, if you're not getting your work done, you're getting called out. Right. But I made sure from coming in, I'm getting my work done, three meetings today. And that's, that's how I kind of looked at it. So you, were you still in sports or were, was it like... No, it was still sports. It was still, it was sports? still sports? It was podcasting though, so it was different. Okay. It's not video anymore, it's podcasting. Okay. Mm-hmm. So podcasting, man, you mm-hmm. kind of... I remember years ago, mm-hmm. I mean, yo, Aunt, man, I want to do a podcast. You mm-hmm. kind of, it's, fun, it's funny now. You, yeah, I know. You, see, yeah. see, you're talking about the regrets you had before. Right, right, right. I should have kept on trying to podcast. Now, yeah. now I'm looking, there's look, a million podcasts out I know, here. man. I, look, I'm new to the space, mm-hmm. but you put me onto it a long time ago. Mm-hmm. How'd you know? Well, if you knew, you probably still be doing it. Yeah, but yeah, at the time, yeah. how'd you know, like, this was like, Something you wanted to do. Don't, don't rub it in. Don't rub I'm it sorry, in. bro. Nah, it, it's just, I didn't know. Yeah. It was just, I like to talk about sports and put my thoughts out there. I like to debate sports and talk about it. Right. I'm watching First Take. I'm watching all of these shows. I love that kind of banter all the time. That's right. what I love to do. So I wasn't thinking about it from a podcast standpoint. I was just like, how do I get my thoughts out there and my mm. opinions out there, how I feel? Because I have a different perspective than everybody else. Right. So that's more so why I started that podcasting kind of thing. 
I wish I kept doing it. I wish I, I made a YouTube page and everything, but I did it. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's all good. I mean, it's it seems kind of hard to keep going, mm -hmm. you know, because especially now, there's so many of them. Of course. Of course. But I like the fact that you're working. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your come up has been. You know, you just been climbing the ladder, man. A lot of people, a lot of people say that to me, and I don't, I don't recognize it. You know, maybe I need to celebrate myself more, which, which I know I need to, but I never really looked at it that way. I just was putting my head down and grinding, man. It's just been such a grind. I mean, I've been in this twelve years since twenty ten. So why know? you ain't quit, man? I don't know what else I love to do. When you're doing what you love to do, it's not work all the time, right? You know, as much as I. The late nights, I was tired, I was sleepy, I didn't get to have a chance to have as much fun. Just being there watching the Super Bowl, watching the NBA Finals, going to the NBA Finals, doing all of these things. I love being around. Yeah. That's what I do. I can't imagine me doing anything else. I've had people ask me to do jobs elsewhere. I'm like, is there sports involved? They're like, no. I, I can't. Can't do it. I can't. I, I, no, if somebody offered me a crazy bag, I, I'd have to think about it. But right. Right. I love sports so much, I don't know anything else I would want to do. Wow, and that's man. just passion and love for yeah. what I like. Wow. That's dope advice for people to even, you know, because a lot of people can't say they're doing what they love to do. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I'm blessed. It's, it's always a blessing. I, I, I take none of it for granted. Because it, it could be gone tomorrow. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's how I look at it.